Hi, this is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. A while ago, I did a tutorial showing you how to make a custom emblem of your initials. Due to its popularity, I'll show you how to make another striking design. Make a new document by going to File and New. For the name, type in Emblem Logo. Make the width 1200 pixels, the height 900 pixels, and the resolution 150 pixels per inch. We'll make the background black. If your foreground and background colors aren't black and white respectively, click on the small double box icon. Then press Alt or Option plus Delete. We'll start by making a background that looks a bit like carbon fiber. Go to Filter, Render, and Lens Flare. Drag the lens flare to the middle of the thumbnail and increase the brightness to 130%. Make a lens type 50 to 300 millimeter zoom, then click OK. Remove all the color by pressing Ctrl or Command Shift U. Go to Filter and Filter Gallery. Open the Distort folder and choose Glass. Make the distortion 20 the smoothness 2, the texture tiny lens, and the scaling 50%. Open your rectangular marquee tool, go to the center, press and hold Shift and Alt on a PC or Shift and Option on a Mac, and drag out a medium sized square. Go to Select and Transform Selection. Go to a corner, and when you see a curved double arrow, press and hold Shift as you rotate it until it snaps 45 degrees. Go to the side corner, and when you see a straight double arrow, press and hold Shift and Alt, or Shift and Option, as you drag out. Continue to drag out corners until you're happy with the shape. Then press Enter or Return. Click on the New Layer button to make a new layer. Go to Edit and Stroke. Stroke the selection with a width of 60 pixels, the color is black, and the location is inside. Press Ctrl or Command D to delete the selection. To make sure the shape is centered on your document, click your Move tool, press Ctrl or Command A, and then Click on the Align Vertical Centers icon and the Align Horizontal Centers icon. Then delete the selection. Click on the FX button and choose Stroke. Make the size 24 pixels. The position is outside. The blend mode is normal. The opacity is 100% and the color is black. Click Inner Glow and the small color box. Pick a color. I'm choosing a bright turquoise. Close the color picker window and change the blend mode to dissolve. Make the opacity 100% and the size 70 pixels. Click gradient overlay and make the blend mode linear burn. Click on the gradient box. Click on the lower left stop and the color box. I'm picking a medium turquoise. Click OK and click on the lower right stop. For the color, I'll type in a lavender. Close the color picker and the gradient editor. Check the reverse box, make the angle 90 degrees and the scale 100 percent. Click Pattern Overlay and open your list of patterns. Click on the gear icon and choose either small or large list. I'm using gray granite, but feel free to experiment with patterns in your list. Click drop shadow. The blend mode is multiply, the color is black, the opacity is 75%, the distance is 5 pixels, the spread is 0, and the size is 5 pixels. Click Bevel and Emboss. The style is Inner Bevel, 
the technique is smooth, the depth is 230 percent, the direction is up, the size is 20 pixels, and soften it 16 pixels. Uncheck global light, make the angle 110 degrees, and the altitude 45 degrees. Click on the gloss contour thumbnail to open the contour editor. Drag the input slider to 50 percent and then click OK. Make the highlight mode color dodge, the opacity 45 percent, the shadow mode multiply, and the opacity 60 percent. Click outer glow and the color box. Pick white, click OK, and make the blend mode color dodge. Make the opacity 20 percent, the spread 19 percent, and the size 81 percent. Make the contour ring. Then click OK. Make a copy of the shape by pressing Control or Command J. Reduce the fill to zero and click off all the eyeballs of the effects except bevel and emboss. Click on bevel and emboss and change the depth to 100%, the size 10 pixels, and soften it 0 pixels. Change the angle to 77 degrees and the altitude 58 degrees. Make the gloss contour ring, the highlight mode screen, the highlight opacity 75%, and the shadow opacity 75 percent. Then click OK. We're ready to set the text for the initials. Open your type tool and choose a font. I'm using Zero's Karma. If you'd like to use it, I provided its link in the video's description or project files. For this font, I'll choose a point size of approximately 250, sharp, center text, and the color is white. Type out your text. To reduce the space between the characters, click between the characters, press and hold Alt or Option as you press the left arrow key a few times. To center the text on your document, click on your Move tool, press Control or Command A, and click on the Align Vertical Centers icon and the Align Horizontal Centers icon. Then delete the selection. Scroll to the bottom shape layer, press and hold Alt or Option as you drag a copy of the effects to the text layer. Then release. Notice all the effects are copied onto your text. Double click on the effects to open its layer style window. Click Inner Glow and change the size to 35 pixels. Click Gradient Overlay and uncheck Reverse. Click Drop Shadow and change the Blend Mode to Hard Light. Make the Opacity 47 percent, uncheck Global Light and make the Angle 135 degrees. Make the Distance 51 pixels and the size 8 pixels. Uncheck Outer Glow, then click OK. Make a copy of the text and trash the effects. In the shape Copy, press and hold Alt or Option as you drag the FX to the text copy. Reduce the fill to zero. Double click on Bevel and Emboss and change the blend mode to chisel hard. Make the size 13 pixels, the angle 0, and the altitude 32 degrees. Then click OK. I'd like to make the overall image a bit brighter, so I'll make a composite snapshot by pressing Control Shift Alt E on a PC or Command Shift Option E on a Mac. I'll open the levels window by pressing Control or Command L 
and slide the input white to the left until the point in the histogram starts to show black. This is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. Thanks for watching.